Welcome to Multitasking is a Myth, how to get more done in less time by multiplying yourself in three ways. Let's go. So quick overview of this video, I'm going to address first, obviously, what multitasking even is, why it doesn't work out so well, what the research has to say about it, and then how to achieve the same outcome, which is getting more done in less time by using different strategies to multiply your time and multiply yourself through leverage. Everyone wants to get more done in less time. And unfortunately, the way most of us try going about doing it is actually trying to do more things, which ultimately leads us mostly overworked, overwhelmed, stressed out, and always feeling like we cannot catch up. Does this resonate with you? Because I know I've felt this way and I often feel this way, even knowing what I know about multitasking. So enter multitasking. What is it? Well, it sounds good in theory. It means trying to get multiple things done simultaneously. For example, trying to finish that email that you're writing while you're on the phone with a meeting. The problem is that the research that actually studies productivity, people who've studied productivity, they've done research on multitasking and they've determined, drum roll please, that it's a myth, that it doesn't actually work, that when we multitask, we actually get less done and we lose time. And there's another kind of type of multitasking that people say, well, what I do is I switch tasks. You know, I'll do a little bit of this and then a little bit of that and then a little bit of this and over the course of the day get a lot of things done. And the research actually shows that that doesn't work well either. That every time we switch tasks from one to another, we have a recovery period that can actually take it ultimately adds up and takes more time than if we than if we had done one task at a time brought it through to completion and then started the next task ultimately not only is multitasking less productive it's actually also more stressful when we're doing this there's a feeling of never being able to catch up and we're constantly being distracted because we're thinking about the next thing we should do or the last thing that we didn't do so why do we do it if it doesn't work and it's actually less productive why does everyone try to do it and why do some people even claim they're great at it well it's because we don't really understand how to organize and structure our time to get more things done. The solution that I've come up with, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, is instead of trying to multitask, is to A, number one, which I'm not gonna dive into deeply here, to actually batch our time so that we give ourselves complete chunks of time to complete projects, and also, and more importantly, what this video really is about, which is finding ways to leverage ourselves so that other things are getting done while we're doing our batched, organized, focused time. In other words, how to use three things to multiply ourselves. So these are my three leverage strategies that I think are so powerful and have really been a game changer for me. And I know that it's been also, they've been a game changer for my clients. I'm talking about leveraging time, technology, and team. Now, before I get into the three ways you can multiply yourself, I want to invite you to take a moment and like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you get alerts whenever I release new videos and consider shooting me a comment below. So the first way to get more done in less time is to leverage time. What does that look like? Well, especially when you're an entrepreneur, leveraging time means doing things once and then having them be repeatable either by you, by someone else, or by technology. What do I mean by that? When you leverage time, it means taking the inputs that you're doing in your business and using them for a variety of outputs. So for example, leveraging time might look like moving from a one-on-one -on -one business model to a one-to-many business model. So for example, if you're coaching clients or consulting with clients one-on-one, -on -one, is it possible for you to do that same coaching and do it in a group format? That's one way to leverage your time. Another way to leverage your time is doing what I'm doing right here. So right now I'm spending a full day recording videos and for, for YouTube and putting them up onto YouTube. 
Now, one way to, for me to leverage my time is instead of also going and writing a blog post, I can take this video that I've just recorded, transcribe it, and have my assistant turn that into a blog post. So now I'm getting two outcomes, two outputs from the same unit or a similar unit of input. Now you might be saying, but Michelle, you said, you said an assistant. Well, that is the second way, or really the third that I'm gonna use second now, that you can create leverage is by having a team, by having other humans that do things for you so that you don't have to do everything in your business. That can help you multiply your time. So instead of me taking this video and transcribing it and turning it into a blog post, having an assistant, a team member, do that for me instead. Another way that I can leverage team is by hiring other coaches in my business that can add value to my clients and especially coaches that do things that I'm not very good at. That's why I have accountability coaches, people that connect with my clients and run them through accountability checks. Like, did you do your homework? Did you do this? Did you do that? Etc. These are things that I don't really like doing very much and it saves me a lot of time to have someone else do them. Now, another way to leverage your time so that you don't need to multitask is to leverage technology or tools of technology. For example, the same example I gave earlier, this YouTube video. Did you know that YouTube, when you upload a video, gives you a transcript of the video? So I can leverage the tool, the technology that YouTube has to get a transcript made of my video instead of having to listen to it and type it up or even download it and upload the audio to a different place, to a, to a transcription service to get the transcription made. I can leverage the tool that YouTube already has embedded in it to save myself time or to save my team member time. So you can always look to leveraging your time leveraging technology and leveraging team. And these are better ways to get more done than to try to do more things yourself. I wanna give you one more tip that has nothing to do with leveraging time, technology, or team, but is also very valuable. And it's this rule that I once learned called Parkinson's Law. Parkinson's Law states that work expands to fill the time available for its completion. So if you're trying to get more done in less time and you're trying to break the habit of multitasking, what I recommend is to give yourself short spurts of time, limit the time available to complete a task fully. Because when we do that, the research actually shows that the time a task takes reduces and the quality of the output actually goes up, believe it or not. Look it up yourself, research about Parkinson's law and you'll see that I'm right. I hope this video was helpful for you. I look forward to connecting with you. If you're looking to become more productive, more prosperous, and more joyful in your consulting, coaching, or speaking business, let's connect. You can find me at superstaractivator.com go.